Genesis chapter 30 KJV Trivia Genesis chapter 30 question 1 Who did not bear Jacob any children? A. Leah B. Zilpah C. Rachel D. Bilhah The correct answer is C, found in Genesis 30, verse 1. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister, and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. Genesis chapter 30, question 2. Why did Rachel give her servant, Bilhah, to Jacob to wife? A. She wanted to have children by her servant. B. It was because she wanted her servant to take her place if she dies. C. It was because she was unhappy in her marriage. D. None of the above. The correct answer is A, found in Genesis 30, verses 3 and 4. And she said, Behold my maid Bilhah, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Bilhah, her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. Genesis chapter 30, question 3. What was the name of the first son Bilhah bare to Jacob? A. Nathali B. Dan C. Gad D. Asher The correct answer is B. Dan, found in Genesis 30, verses 5 and 6. And Bilhah conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. Genesis chapter 30, question 4. What was the name of the second son Bilhah bare to Jacob? A. Naphtali B. Dan C. Gad D. Asher The correct answer is A, found in Genesis 30, verses 7 and 8. And Bilhah, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bare Jacob a second child. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. Genesis chapter 30, question 5. What was the name of the first son Zilpah bare to Jacob. A. Naphtali B. Dan C. Gad D. Asher The correct answer is C. Gad, found in Genesis 30, verses 9 through 11. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zilpah her maid, and gave her to Jacob to wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a son. And Leah said, A troop cometh. And she called his name Gad. Genesis chapter 30, question 6. What was the name of the second son, Zilpah, bare to Jacob? A. Naphtali B. Dan C. Gad D. Asher
The correct answer is D. Asher, found in Genesis 30, verses 12 and 13. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. Genesis chapter 30, question 7. What was the name of the fifth son Leah bare to Jacob? A. Dan B. Gad C. Zebulun D. Issachar The correct answer is D. Issachar as found in Genesis 30, verses 17 and 18. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived, and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called his name Issachar. Genesis chapter 30, question 8. What was the name of the sixth son? Leah bear to Jacob. A. Dan. B. Gad. C. Zebulon. D. Issachar. The correct answer is C. Zebulon, found in Genesis 30, verses 19 and 20. And Leah conceived again and bare Jacob the sixth son. And Leah said, God hath endued me with a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulun. Genesis chapter 30, question 9. What was the name of the daughter Leah bare to Jacob? A. Ruth B. Dinah C. Esther D. Rachel The correct answer is B. Dinah, found in Genesis 30, verse 21. And afterwards, she bare a daughter and called her name Dinah. Genesis chapter 30, question 10. What was the name of the son Rachel bare to Jacob? A. Dan B. Gad C. John D. Joseph The correct answer is D. Joseph, found in Genesis 30, verses 22 to 24. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb, and she conceived and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph, and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. Genesis chapter 30, question 11, fill in the blank. After the birth of blank, Jacob requested that Laban should send him away to his country. A. Asher B. Joseph C. Issachar D. Gad The correct answer is B. Joseph, found in Genesis 30, verses 25 and 26. And it came to pass, when Rachel had borne Joseph, that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away, that I may go on to my own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go. For thou knowest my service, which I have done thee. Genesis chapter 30, question 12, fill in the blank. Jacob removed the he-goats that were ring-staked and spotted, and all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the blank 
among the sheep and gave them into the hand of his sons. A. Black B. White C. Brown D. Gray The correct answer is C. Brown, found in Genesis 30, verse 35. And he removed that day the he-goats that were ring-staked and spotted, and all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and he gave them into the hand of his sons. Genesis chapter 30, question 13. What happened when Jacob took rods of green poplar and of the hazelnut and chestnut tree and piled white strakes in them and made the white appear which was in the rods? A. The flocks conceived and brought forth brown cattle. B. The flocks conceived and brought forth cattle ring-staked, speckled, and spotted. C. Flocks died. D. Nothing happened. The correct answer is B, found in Genesis 30, verses 37 through 39. And Jacob took him rods of green poplar and of the hazel and chestnut tree, and piled white strakes in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had piled before the flocks, in the gutters, in the watering troughs, when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods, and brought forth cattle, ring-staked, speckled, and spotted. Genesis chapter 30, question 14. Who put the feeble cattle in Laban's flock? A. Jacob B. Joseph C. Laban D. Dan The correct answer is A. Jacob, found in Genesis 30, verse 42. But when the cattle were feeble, he, Jacob, put them not in so the feebler were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. <laughs>